Hey guys. So when we are looking at the moon near the horizon, it looks much bigger than compared to what it looks when it's high up in our sky. So people have been thinking about this for a very long time. Back in 4th century BC, Aristotle as well thought about it. He thought that Earth's atmosphere is distorting the image and magnifying it in some way. But we now know there's no such phenomena going on. Earth's atmosphere just changes the color because of the scattering of light in our atmosphere. So this phenomena is called the moon illusion. It is actually the same size even when it's near the horizon or when it's up high in the sky. If you want to test it, take a paper, make a tube out of it so that the size of the tube is exactly the size of the moon when it's near the horizon. Look through the tube and make sure it's the same size as the moon. Now a few hours when the moon is high up in the sky, look through the same tube. The moon is actually the same size. It hasn't shrunk or expanded even a little. So what's going on? So there are many explanations on the internet and one of it is because when the moon is near the horizon, there are stuff that we can compare its size with like the tree, the buildings. Unknowingly, our brain compares the size of the buildings and this comparison of the objects to the moon actually tricks our brain to see the moon a bit bigger than what it actually is. For example, if you look at this image, the orange two balls in the center, if you look at it, one looks bigger than the other. The right one obviously looks bigger than the left one, but actually they are the very same size. If we just remove the, the bigger and the smaller balls around them, you can clearly see that both the orange balls are of the very same size. In the in same way, when there are things around an object, our brain tries to compare all, the, all of the objects to give it a relative size. And hence, when we are looking at the moon high up in the sky, we don't have anything in the field of view for our eyes to compare the moon's size with and it looks smaller. But actually, both are of the same size. But then, this week, on the 19th February, there was a supermoon when the moon is actually a bit bigger than the normal days. So what's going on there? If you look at the supermoon, you won't actually notice a big difference between a normal moon and a supermoon. If you do repeated observations of the moon, then yes, you can see a little bit difference, but there's not, there's not a big difference between a supermoon and a normal moon. So what's a supermoon? So our moon goes around the earth in an elliptical orbit. That means it has a point in its orbit when, when the moon comes very close to the earth and a point where it is the furthest. The furthest away point is called apergee and the closest is called perigee. If the full moon comes on the same day when the moon in its orbit is on the perigee, the closest point, then that day is called the supermoon. It just means that moon comes to the closest point of the earth every month but it's not full moon every time. That's why when it's a full moon, it's called a supermoon. And that's all for today. Saran Kumar, all the best for your exams. And everyone out there, hope you're doing great in life. We had a very sad week here in India as we lost soldiers to a terrorist attack here in India. I hope their souls rest in peace. I'll see you next Thursday. Till then, stay curious, stay awesome.